over to the Notting Hill Methodist Church. No, it's not because I'm about to become a born again Christian. It's because I am going to take part on a panel of a charity event by a charity called Together We Rise. It's focused on helping or inspiring young Londoners to make the most of themselves rather than um, allowing themselves to be caught up in becoming statistics. It's a very good cause. It's something that I feel strongly about. Being someone who was raised in London and had to overcome a lot of things to be where I am today. I can understand very easily what a lot of you know young people go through and the challenges they face. And it would have been nice for me growing up to have a lot of positive role models to look at to help inspire me to do the right thing. I'm doing this because I want to be an example and a good role model for the young people of today to aspire to or maybe just to show them a different way of being they don't all need to be boxers but they just need to know that there is light it's your choice what you do with your life your environment doesn't make you your decisions and perspective are what make you and i'm going to show you a little bit of how the event goes i'm excited Mr. 10 gives Mr. 10 gives Mr. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. ten. <laughs> see what's going on, it? Hope you don't enjoy. This guy's inspirational. I don't want to give away his story, but you need to just check him out. Get on his Insta, his socials, go and big it up. Mr. 10 Gears is my Insta, Mr. 10 Gears on my Twitter, same thing as YouTube, Mr. 10 Gears. He's very inspirational. I find him inspirational, so go check that out. When are we making a look? Because man's got bars, isn't it? Man's got bars. I got just, bars. Just, just, get me, just, get, I got your DM. Drop the rhythm. You. Drop the rhythm. I'll drop get now, you to the stars. Now, now. Yo. <laughs> when are you going to take me out to a fight? Bro, my next. <laughs> I need it to I like boxing. Okay, so that's Lady Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Give him some love for a minute, man. Why does that come in and, in and out? I'm going to win his next match, so I need to come in and win his next You will. Okay, see on a catwalk for Ralph Lauren. She, she, told, she told me she's going to make me the first Ralph Lauren black ambassador. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. 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 Right. So we're out here in the Nigerian High Commission celebrating Larry Yekondayo's achievements. Yes. I'm famous now. <laughs> yes. Finally. Larry, you know Why our vlog, right? Have you heard of Hammer vlog? Hammer who? My YouTube vlog. <laughs> no, I would No. Uh, what, what is it called? It's called a top boxer vlog. What else would it be called? Inspiring the likes of me to represent Nigeria truly. You see a green and white on my shorts, partly influenced. I should charge you. <laughs> Man, you should charge me. Do you know what? Not at all influenced by Larry. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria getting behind its own. No, it's good to be here. It's good to see Nigeria getting behind their own. This inspires me to represent Nigeria a lot more, obviously. Look at that. Another one. He's been doing this all night for about two hours. Real support. So, baby, do you really want to get it? So, baby, do you really want to get it? Baby, you should really come and get it. taught her how to do the shaku shaku which is a Nigerian dance obviously being a natural I pick things up quick so you saw all the way I just <laughs> hey everyone my name is Vera voice every race accepts the number one UK Afrobeats queen so you can go check out my stuff and you can follow me at Vera underscore wow the plug T-U-N-E-S thank you I'm going to be singing him into the ring Right now, I am about to attend a casting for a role, an exciting role actually, that should I get, I'll share with you guys, no I wouldn't need a bag, thank you. I was given a time slot of 1.05 for the casting and I've got an interview back at Peacock Gym at 2.30. Now, so what I thought was, get to the gym at 10 a.m., work out till 11.45, gives me 15 minutes to shower by 12, and then gives me an hour to get to casting just in time. I did that, I did my bit. But I turn up and the casting directors are 40 minutes behind schedule because what's happened is 
models have turned up and they're walking in when it's not their time slot yet and then when the models like myself are turned up on during the, for their own time slot there's a backlog so much so that it's allowed me enough time to go to the shop to get something to eat so now i'm just walking back to the casting location i think i'll record a little bit the guys in there are all a bit antsy and stuff it's all like testosterone um you've got people trying to enforce their way in to say that they were first rule talks i'll just punch a man up and walk into the casting you know but <laughs> no you gotta be civil so i'm gonna go in assert myself and um i'll just show you what it looks like when it's a bit of testosterone and competitiveness not only does everyone want the role everyone wants to go in first but i'm just like just chill man i've just got this interview to get to you after that's all otherwise i'd have been like yeah calm whatever but anyway i'm blabbing on i'll show you the casting in a minute back at the casting location with my G Joe band. You've done the smart thing, you pick boxing for acting. <laughs> it's much easier. <laughs> we got to like, just miss. look through the script and then go in there and get told to do something of totally opposite. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> These are guys. <laughs> These are guys. <laughs> <laughs> Was I not here before you? Right, okay. So is it just going like that? <laughs> Look at this. What was this time? 12.40. He wasn't one of the only How long is everyone spending in there? 10 minutes a day? Yeah, fucking hell. Have you got somewhere to be after? Yeah, like, You're yeah, yeah. fucking hell. It's all a bit intense, isn't it? So I've finished the casting. I'm now power walking to the train station to make it for the um, interview, which I'm at, at least half an hour late for now. Watch my legs. See them quick feet. See them quick feet. That's how I'm walking. Yeah, let's go make this. And after that, actually, after the interview, I've got to go to yoga. So that's a bit of uh, Bikram yoga. It's something that I do to aid with my flexibility, my mobility. Um, also, just helps a calm state of mind. There's something meditative about it, and it's just good for all around body mind awareness. Hi. I'm super duper late. No man, you gotta wait. Man's late. <laughs> and hand walk past you. And hand walk past you. <laughs> Maybe one of them chases me, right? Did I get there even sooner? Let's get to these guys ASAP. Um, finally made it to the criminal girl. Canary Wolf, BYL London. Hi. Say hello. Hi everyone. To the top boxer vlog. <laughs> Watch how fresh I am now. Watch what I'm gonna be like after. It's great. Here's a result. Very wet mat. So can tell. See how heavy that is. <laughs> so that's what it's like right after. <laughs> Yeah. Yoga's good though, man. I feel fresh. This is what happens, kids, once you go past 30. Yeah, it's no longer the clubs. <laughs> it's Ray's birthday. Happy birthday! Brilliant! 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 That's the least Africans, isn't it? <laughs> It becomes more about the things that matter, like quality time with the people you love. Like, yeah, <laughs> literally. Literally, you know what I mean? Hey, we all get there. Hey, it's, a, it's a never talk. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna tuck into that cake. Unfortunately, they got me some vegan cake. Oh, you yeah, all right? You see the love right there? Vegan cake and chinchin. That's life. Proper Nigerian style. I don't think chinchin -chin is vegan, by the way. It probably is. I don't want to find out if it's not. I swear, this is the second year in a row I've cut cake in my spoon. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Bring them out, bring them out.